guys today you know I, I'm not a great um, spawn fisherman sight fisherman there's a lot that goes into it uh, if you get seen you're done for uh, I have another option for you and I call it it's called uh, blind spawn fishing the spawn blind that's what I'm going to do today so you see First thing you want to do is find an area where they're coming into and uh, you know uh, like the, the spawning flat here on this lake right here here's a spawning flat we got we got uh, lily pads reeds and uh, when that wind comes up I'm gonna start here we were a little bit cold last night Hopefully that water temp is going to uh, come up a little. I might have to get behind the first hard line. The hard line is that reed section here. And they, if I think i got one nest, then I'm going to go behind that because it's going to be out of the wind. The north wind's pummeling this area, and they're going to get behind that first hard line to where it's calm. And uh, what you're going to uh, want to look for is uh, murky water. You don't want it to be so clear that they can see you. That sight fishing, you got to get right up on them within a, a few you know 15 20 foot to see them most times uh, I'd rather fish uh, and it's really there's a lot to it and I'd rather uh, fish this little bit dinger water and I'm mostly going to use a uh, straight tail worm like a Cinco and a fluke weightless and if the wind comes up I'll put a real like a 16th ounce on it yeah you basically have to pester the fish this time of year and uh, I got more confidence when I actually don't see them. And I'm, what I do is I visualize every cast, I visualize there's a nest there. And the beds, they're not uh, really all that far apart a lot of times. They'd be within 10, 15 feet of each other. And, uh, so, but if you do see a light spot on the bottom, that's probably, that's a good sign that there's a nest near, uh, and you stay back and uh, cast to it, maybe 40 to 50 feet. So you don't spook it. The bass, the spawning bass is the most spookiest fish there is, I've read. <laughs> so anyway, let's see if we can catch some fish. Blind fishing. If you have power poles, drop them down, fan cast the area, pick up your power poles, move a few feet, do the same thing. It takes patience. Yeah, when I'm searching for bedding fish that I can't see, I don't work the bait all the way back to the boat. I'll think it, I'll cast it to where I might think the fish might be. I'll give it two jerks, probably two to four jerks, and then I'm reeling it in as fast as I can and firing out again. Spawn spawning fish love a fluke, boys. I'll tell you what. See? Yeah. Nice fish. Yep. Like I probably said earlier, be patient, work your baits slowly, and, and visualize there's a bedding bass everywhere you cast. And uh, it, it ensures confidence. And once you finally catch one, it just keeps getting better and better. Your, your confidence does. Dang it, didn't know 
I had fish on there, boys. Oh, gosh, I got a nice one. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Oh, there we go, man. Oh. Fish. Oh. oh, come here. Come here, you're done. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come here. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yeah, baby, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, guys, when you're looking, when you're looking for flats, uh, you want it to be large enough to hold a substantial amount of spawning fish, plus sandy and hard bottoms uh, mixed in is best. Decent one for change. Yeah. It's been a slow bite. Just gotta keep at it sometimes. Yeah, not big, but. Yeah, I got a strong west wind here right now, so when you're throwing a weightless bait, just throw with the wind. Turn the boat front of your boat inside of your boat whatever throw with the wind and keep that bow out of your line because you're going to miss them if you don't but the main, re main reason I like this blind bed fishing is you don't get as frustrated as much nothing more frustrating than seeing a fish seeing the bait in your fish his face and just turn around and swim off I, I, I'd rather not see that at all I'd rather just leave there and believe that something's there and you're going to bite it so use your trolling motor as little as possible make long casts look for spawning flats of murky water and uh, if you get frustrated fishing for sight fishing for bass and don't want to do it blind fish for them so anyhow hope it's uh, a few of these tips helped you on your next uh spring spawning ritual on your lake and this is terry williams fishing saying i'll see you next time <laughs>